ya, YouTubers! Taz Man here, bringing you another episode of Fantasy Grounds from the Ground Up. Oh, Unity. Fantasy Grounds Unity from the Ground Up. Um, so, in our last episode, we started going over some extensions, and I did say that, you know, if you guys are interested, we could start doing some module spotlights. And on that note, now, let me, let me first say right off the bat that I am not sponsored or get any kind of uh, perks from Rob Tui or uh, Dungeon Masters Guild or anyone for that matter. Uh, but this episode might seem kind of heavily weighted towards those things because Rob Tui, he's made a lot of modules himself, but he's also got a group together that are kind of under his, his wing, so to speak, that also makes modules and then they sell them under the Rob Tui name um, so you're definitely gonna learn his name in this episode um, so hats off to him by the way because he does do some really awesome modules and he has lots of other people that do really cool modules that are under his brand I guess I, I'm not sure exactly how it works maybe affiliates or associates I, I don't know uh, so anyway uh, some that I wanted to point out is one person that, that sells under his name basically is one called Diablo Bob. Now you can get all these modules and a really good idea to get these modules on uh, the Dungeons Masters Guild because they're constantly being updated. So I'm gonna or here's our, our wonderful fantasy grounds but I'm gonna switch over to my browser uh, to the Dungeon Masters Guild website. For those of you who have never been there, and I put this up too high, it looks like. There we go. Uh, so if you've never been there, basically the URL is DMSGUILD. So DMSGUILD.com. And it will come up here. Now I have it sorted right now just for virtual tabletop. However, they have lots and 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 lots of, of modules. Uh, you know that people have made some are free you can actually find lots of free ones uh, you can find really cheap ones you can find official ones you know this is an official one for fantasy grounds um, that is approved by Wizard of the Coast because this is one of their actual modules or adventures so anyway what I wanted to point out is um, one really nice thing is when you buy stuff from them they keep track of what you bought and it's under my library and I actually have it pulled up here is no this yeah this is my library but it's not the view I want <laughs> okay so uh, here's the my library view oh actually it was so as you can see I have lots and lots of project products uh, there's 351 entries these are all I can't say they're all fantasy grounds. Lots of them. I have lots of the adventure, uh, the venture league adventures and stuff like that. Um, but lots of them are from um, four. Sorry, four fantasy grounds. So you have things that you know all your products. When you buy new products, they are under never downloaded. But this is really nice too that there's this updated only. So these are ones that have actually been updated. And here we can see that uh, I'm assuming this is an adventure. I I think I bought it in a bundle, like back when they were doing the Australia's Burning and all those fun things. You just do lots of bundles. So Secrets of Skyhorn Lighthouse, which has both a PDF and a zip. Now the zip most likely contains uh, images and stuff like that but here you can see that you know you can download those components here we have a fantasy grounds one turn-based effects has had an update so all you have to do is download the extension put it in your extension folders and there you go we have castle ravenloft battle maps uh, looks like there's been lots of updates there uh, and then of course Rob Tui, he is always updating his his uh, things. So here we have one for 5e effects and coatings for spells, right? Uh, and if you come on to Dungeon Masters Guild and you're looking for Rob Tui, I'm not 100% sure if this will pull up everything, but this one will. 
So Rob Tui. Now it's kind of weird because you can't actually do a space. So what I've done here, for example, is I've gone into one of his things and then I just click on his name here and that does a new sort based off of uh, a filter off of his name alone. Because if I tried doing that myself, if I tried doing uh, Rob T W O H Y, you'll see it actually breaks it into two. Now, of course, you still find a lot of stuff, but uh, this is this is just looking under the author himself, and I'm not sure exactly if you can do that specifically. Maybe it's under advanced search. Yeah, I bet you can right there. I've never done that before. <laughs> so it looks like we learned things together. So as you can see here with this Rob Tui search, uh, these are all the things and you'll see that, for example, oh, no, no, no. some of these things, for example, Fantasy Ground, Mad Nomads, Automatic Action Tab, Additions, which I own, um, is kind of from Rob Tui in the sense that I guess he's he's associated with or uh, under that that umbrella that I was talking about. But this is the actual person that is doing it, Mad Nomad Media. He has actually made lots and lots of little modules um, ranging from I think it's around ten dollars all the way down to like two bucks or something like that. And even some that might not even um, have a chart, you know, they're free. So this example, Mad Nomads, automatic action tabs uh, will automatically add the action tab coding from Rob Tui's modules. So if you have Rob Tui's module, when you add in a character, it'll automatically add in those things, I guess, which is really cool. It'll even call them feats and I guess Dragonborn, I've never, I guess that would be your racial traits, this would be your Oh, those are feats. I don't see class features. So anyway, um, really there's lots of stuff. And Rob Tui, under his, his banner here, you can see lots of things have had Electrum Seller, Copper, you know, Gold. I think Electrum's the best. I'm not sure. Um, I don't own everything Rob Tui. Uh, that's like 600 bucks if you want that. So, uh, like, if we click on any of these... Uh, this is actually not Rob Tui, so I don't think it's going to show it. That's Diablo Bob. By the way, that's another person. Here we go. This is Rob Tui's. I think he has at the bottom of his. So if you want everything Rob Tui, uh, no, no, two years, and everything that's under his banner, I guess, that's these are just things that he's made. That, for example, you wouldn't get Diablo Bob stuff in here. You would get uh, only the Rob Tui. And you can see, you know, 155, 205. Now, I have not paid that much for these things. Uh, I usually wait for sales and keep my eye out on sales and things like that to get really good deals. Um, but you can see I do own a boatload of these type of things and these are just all things you know these ones for example are some that Rob Tui coded so just to make life easier like the uh, like the spells that he recoded so that it would include additional information let's try and sort by price I know he does have some that are really nice Acme spells here 21 Acme spells in the spirit of Roadrunner to be clear this is for comedy this is more reading material than it is uh, for practical game use. However, if you see fit comedy purposes in your campaign, you can go ahead and do it. So he has something like that. Then it goes all the way out to a dollar. I know he has some others. The pay, f pay what you want and the dollar kind of intertwine. But uh, looks like rods is set to pay what you want. So you can pay 50 cents. You can pay a dollar. You can pay whatever you feel. Or you can even pay nothing. But, you know anything you pay will help Rob Tui have more motivation. There is one specifically I wanted to point out for those of you that want to just get a quick campaign going and get people uh, into it and going really quick there is one and I believe I have it in here actually maybe we could search it uh, wrong thing this one 
Uh, let's do this and do PREG pregen maybe. So this right here is his pregen bu bundle and you can see it is pay what you want. And what's really nice about this, if you have new players that want to just quickly get in the game, don't want to take all the time, you know, they just want to test test the game or whatever. Uh, he makes that pre-gen bundle, which is really nice. Um, he's put a lot of work into it, so I would recommend, you know, doing something. Help him out a little bit there, uh, because once you see this, you'll see there's quite a bit. So, under reference manual here, we actually see everything, the instructions on how to do it. Um, you know updates if you if you if you have DMs Guild uh, Dungeon Masters Guild you'll actually be able to get those updates anytime he does them which is really nice there's his credits uh, did he do them all is he crediting anyone else doesn't look like it. so he did it all himself I think that's safe to say then under the actual pre-gen characters we'll wait a second before we go there then the story is kind of the instructions it's the parts in the reference menu so if we go to the the actual thing and all you have to do is inside so your players can actually see these things and choose them you go under modules and it will be pre-generated characters and you just click load easy peasy uh, but here's the actual pre-generated characters now you can't really see how many there are here but there are lots and you'll see that he's actually gone through and did you know uh, this one is level one barbarian it's a turtle this is level two barbarian turtle this is a level three barbarian that looks like he went ancestral guardian it's a turtle then he starts with um, a level one barbarian dwarf and so on and so forth so he tries getting a really broad mixture of of all the different uh, types of characters but if you look or characters you can make there is a ton in here which will let you get a game up and running more than likely your players are going to be able to find something really quick a really nice way to get this that I have people do is just type L E V E L and one and that will just put the, I did it wrong. I can't remember, is it case sensitive? Hello? <laughs> I broke it. Let's try the skin. <clears throat> L-E-V-E-L-1, right? There we go. That's how it worked. I don't know why it didn't work that first time. So this is only going to show the level one ones. Now he does have every single class in here, I believe. Um, I think I've gone through and seen them all. Uh, and you know, druids do, do, do all the way down to the very end. Right here's artificer. Uh, so it even includes artificer. Uh, defiler some extra ones that aren't necessarily you know they're I believe these are sub subclasses or whatever um, isn't that uh, part of a rogue or something not 100% sure uh, but it does have all the standard ones which is really nice um, and as you can see with some of these he did do like the undying hex blade the fiend the old one the celestial, the archfey, archfey, arch, archfey, yes. <laughs> uh, with sorcery, has a wild master, one that's got storm, shadow magic, so on and so forth. So he's he's got a really uh, good variety in here, which is nice. Uh, the only thing is, you know, maybe he doesn't nail exactly what your player wants. You know, they might want to be uh, let's see. Maybe they want to be. No, there's an elf barbarian. I was going to say an elf. What of a gnome barbarian? I don't see a gnome. So, in that case, they'll still have to create a character. However, these will be all ready for them. Now, in order for it to work properly, your, char your people will not have this little plus button. Only the DM will have the plus button here. So they can come into a character and actually 
actually no they don't get to see the stats uh, they can come in here and they can choose what character they want and then once they tell you what they want for example they want to be a let's just randomly find one down here like um, how about a lizard folk fighter then all you have to do is click on the plus and now it will be available to them inside a character so right here you can see the lizard folk at this point they can go ahead and go in they can change the name uh, to what it is add a picture but you'll see it actually already has all the stuff that you need just to get going um, including uh, the the um, <laughs> racial, racial the racial traits and class features I'm drawing a blank uh, including some of your standard actions has the potions uh, you know all coded in there already for you to go so really nice I don't know if they actually have the potions in here doesn't look like it but you can see it does have the weapons and all that fun stuff so really quick way just to get a game especially if you if you're trying to do a one shot and invite people from the internet or your discord and last minute someone cancels or ducks out and you're just starting a new campaign you want to hurry and get someone in there to get going right away this is this is a great way to do that so um, that's Rob Tui's main stuff and like I said I'm not sponsored by him the one that I really really like almost everything he does in fact probably everything he does is probably more accurate is Diablo Bob he does some really cool things that make it so that your game is easier to run and also gives lots of really cool features to your players I actually own everything he has here for example he has something like this called portals right um, which makes it so you can set designate areas on a map that uh, will teleport to another map uh, you can always go watch the video here that explains it but it's really cool so you could have them um, like if this were a map here with a giant dungeon or something you could have a portal a teleportation circle whatever you want and when the players token actually hits it they'll teleport to another section of the map um, not sure if I can so this example I think you can actually see so this is showing that if a player enters this area they teleport to this area as you can see this is kind of a a cutaway of the lower half of the boat but more of the top I don't know how else to explain that uh, another one that I really like there's this one click druid uh, critical critically awesome effects one click druid which I think I have it in here let's go double check real quick so if we go into our fantasy grounds and let's just pull up a map Dun, dun, dun. image of the maps yes uh, dun, dun. let's type map oh actually I want to go here uh, maps maps we'll do the Ravnica one I don't know uh, so we'll just use this for an example so if we have a character that is a druid uh, like our gnome here when we made our druid gnome uh, at a level they all of a sudden get wild shapes and believe it or not we actually have wild shape information so let's oh, whoops I didn't mean to do that I meant to click on this I was thinking those were the other ones so if we come under I believe it's under spells as well uh, if we come under I think there's one specifically called wild shape I can't remember exactly wait was it under I think it's under spells. Oh, let's just type wild. See if that pulls anything. Oh, here we go. So druid wild shape. Let's see if this is. Maybe I don't have it loaded on here. <clears throat> if I don't, that's going to be kind of anticlimactic. Uh, so anyway, what it will allow you to do is inside your action tabs, you'll actually have a spot that says wild shapes. And as the druid 
you can actually click on one of these wild shapes and it it basically in the description like right in this section it would have all the information you know if I'm attacking as this wild shape I need to go to combat well it's not gonna work very well because I don't have the thing but anyway it will have the wild shape right here and then it will have you know as a snake I do this bite uh, you know or I do this poisoning so and then it will actually change your token on the main thing I thought I had that let's just double check and make sure it's in here because um, I'd like to show it uh, let's see critically awesome essentials you in here I know the main ones in here so maybe it's in here maybe I just have to load it uh, so let's go library modules uh, DRUID maybe there we go it is not loaded so we have the critical awesome essentials one click druid maybe this will work now uh, so let's pull up our gnome again actually yeah let's do that real quick pull up our gnome and let's add is it in here now druid wild shapes right there so for example let's say um, let's put our gnome out here he's gonna be I was thinking he'd be bigger than that because we don't have a, a thing but um, let's close this and we'll go ahead and move uh, this guy over here so let's say our our gnome here can wild shape into uh, let's say a bat let's throw a bat in here and you'll see it puts it under cantrips um, if I want to change that we we already know we can go here and change this to not be a spell but actually put it under w i l d wild shape w i l d is it two words no it looks like it's one wild shape uh, so now if we go like that now we have wild shapes let's go ahead and close out our level ones and cantrips so what you can see here like I was saying if we um, switch this to summary and this to combat then we can shrink this down wait it's not summary it's actions uh, so here you can see this applies the effect to us this would be our attack which is a melee and then this would be our bite oh we're a bat not a bamboo a baboon so this is our attack roll this is our actual bite so what you would do when you're playing is instead of clicking on the weapons and stuff up here you would do it here so the first thing we do is let's turn into a bat did it work oh we're not in the combat tracker I'm so smart all right let's let's do this again so look here we have is that what we just did I don't know who that is uh, so let's go ahead and be in the combat tracker let's uh, go there now we're in the combat tracker uh, so let's try this again and hope it works it did not work oh is it because it's Dutheon's turn I don't know it changed here it usually will change here too I'm not exactly sure why um, but as you can see here uh, in the combat tracker where to go do, do, do. Uh, you can actually see now we're actually a bat here maybe if we move I wonder if I have a module that's uh, causing a conflict but anyway so it changes it to a bat now once I remove this effect you'll see here that it will turn him not from it'll turn him back into his form at least right here it might be oh you know what I bet this isn't actually a this isn't a smart token this is just the token on the page we have to grab him from here this might work now because see how we have the health bar so let's go ahead and try that once more there we go so now we're a bat we can fly around as a bat uh, if we had other things uh, let's see maybe let's try an eagle uh, let's do a crocodile now the one thing oh 
I'm putting them under spells again. Now I gotta find them. Wild shapes. No, it must be under cantrips. There it is. Wild shape eagle. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Gotta be able to see the other thing. Uh, so here's our wild shape there. Do that one. Did it do it? Good. Although it didn't delete this one. Alright, I'm just gonna go delete these ones. Uh, that's our actual wild shape. Wild shape eagle. Alright, I think that's what we want. Uh, yeah, so let's say uh, we want to turn into a dinosaur. I'm trying to think. I think uh, if we do... It will also change size. I'm not sure if it'll do it on this because we don't have a grid. So it's not actually going to look at sizes. But I guess we'll check. Uh, so now we have these additional things. So if we get rid of that wild shape, we turn back into a gnome. Uh, let's say we... Whoops, wrong thing. We want to wild shape to a... Let's do a dinosaur. Uh, go back to this one. Alright, so dinosaur there. Okay, not a dinosaur, it's more of a lizard. But that's okay. Uh, so we have the lizard. Uh, if we if we do more than one, it seems to actually stay up and do the latest one, but then you get multiple um, effects on your character so for example it doesn't undo like if we were switched to bat now you can see we actually have a bat on that one and because I don't know if it's alphabetic and it does the the lowest you know uh, the lowest level would be your A's and then it kinda layers on top of that so we could try giant owl there we go so oh it actually did change the size so here you can see it actually changed our size and everything else and when you switch back to your form, this might not do it because of the grid, but we'll see. No, it did. So beautiful. So as you can see, you can use this for wild shaping, which is really cool. I really like that um, that he's done this. And like I said, Diablo Bob does really awesome stuff. Um, he also has done things where you know if you cast a spell uh, I know you've probably seen it where we come into our spells here uh, spells here and some spells have like this extra token type this is for another Diablo Bob I think it's the DM tools that will actually allow you to say okay when this spell is cast this is what the token is going to be. So you could actually click on the magnifying glass here and you could set a token for in there. So for example, we could, I don't want to close it just yet. All right, we'll just close it anyway. Um, for example, you can come into assets here and where have I got these tokens? I can't remember. Nope, not there. Campaign, are they actually called? Let's type spell. Spell large, spell small. Okay, so if we come into this bag, I believe, these are a whole bunch of, of the tokens that we can do. So, for example, uh, what is this one called that we're clicking on? Earth Tremor. Uh, let's see if there's an E-A-R-T-H. Let's see if there's an Earth Tremor. Doesn't look like it. How about T-R-E-M? No, doesn't look like it. So we just have to find one that maybe seems like an earth tremor. For example, this. Drag it, drop it on top of there, and then hit save updates. And then what happens is when he casts this, which now I don't have the map. Let's just grab this map will work. Although it doesn't have a grid. A lot of this stuff might have to have a grid. Um, let's add a grid to it. Make it a nice big grid, something like that. So now if we tell, I'm not 100% sure this is going to work right, but you can see it says 10 foot radius. So if we grab this and drag it out here, or do we click that? No, that's the effect. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I got to remember how to do this now. 
this is this one the spell effect It's probably because I don't have tokens out here. I will look into it if you're interested in knowing more. But we're at 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. Um, and hopefully I didn't hurt your wallet like Rob Tui and Diablo Bob hurt my wallet. Because uh, every time I see things they sell, I'm like, oh, i got to get that. That's awesome. Got to get it. Uh, but hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up down below aside from that comment like and subscribe follow me on Twitter check me out on discord and my other channels uh, my other YouTube channels and uh, tell everyone you know about my channel have them check it out if they like it they can sub and we can just grow the Tasmanian family how awesome would that be and that's it until next time I'll be seeing you later bye